Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, a first look at impressions of five different flashlights. Now I say flashlights, it's not exactly flashlights, but five good quality lighting solutions. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at these. First and foremost, a keychain flashlight. This here is the Wubin G. Two. Wubin is a brand whose products I've covered on a couple of occasions, this here being the G2, one of their newest offerings. Workos, new on my channel. Now I have taken a look at Workos products in the past, just not for my YouTube channel. But here, this Workos, this is the HD15, kind of on an EDC tactical style. A headlamp, the Cyan Sky HS6R. Now this is something that I'm excited about. I love good quality headlamps. I'm heading into backpacking season. This could definitely come into play. A heavy duty work light, the Streamlight Bear Trap. This is new for 2022. Gonna take a look at this for the first time and then hopefully I'll get this into some good practical use. I'll tell you what, I have a whole bunch of jobs I need to do around the house and I know this is going to be a wonderful work light for me. And last but not least, well, an EDC light. This is the Thrunite TC15 version 2. I've been carrying this now for a few weeks. Nice little light, very simple, very pocketable, and definitely capable. And so again, all of these products today, we're gonna take a look at them for the first time, just kind of get some impressions, general overview and features. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, Stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Wubin, Streamlight, Cyan Sky, Workos, and Thrunite who did provide these products for review. Now again, five different genres of light. First thing I need to do, well, we're going to be here for a little while. I'm going to go through this pretty quick, but kind of chill out here, get into the mood. These lights here, absolutely awesome. I can't wait to take a look at these. And so first here, the Through Night TC15 version two. This here in the military tan. I like this color a lot. I have had a number of Through Night flashlights. I mean, at this point, probably more than a dozen and they've all been awesome. I mean, Through Night doing a real great job. The machining has been wonderful. Their overall programming, solid. This light has been no exception. Very nice size in the hand, very pocketable. And this is something that I slide it in my pocket. And honestly, I really don't know it's there. You can see on the front, definitely a nice lens, a little bit of an orange peel, which is good. This is going to strike the balance between a nice floody light and a reasonable throw. Side switch here, very simple, single click, and then a long press, and you start to cycle between your modes. When the light's in the off position, a long press, and that's going to put it into that firefly mode. A quick double press, and that's going to be your turbo. And then when the light's on, double press, and there's your tactical strobe. So generally speaking, very good. I have found this to be very reasonable. I mean, this is a rechargeable battery. So as you take a look here in 18650, 3100 milliamp hour, 18650, this is a through night battery. 3.6 volt overall, definitely pretty standard at this point. The one thing that again, through night kind of gets you a little bit here on the charging port this is a micro USB. It is not a USB type C. Overall, not a big deal. Personally, I still am stuck a little bit dealing with the micro USB. So that doesn't bother me at all. Inside the box, this does come with a pouch. I found that for me, I just quite frankly don't need it. I have been carrying my flashlight directly in my pocket. Now again, a long press. That's the firefly mode. That's 0.5 lumens. Single press, that's the low mode. Low mode is 22 lumens, long press. Medium, that's 250 lumens. High mode, that's 1,053 lumens. Double press, that's turbo. Turbo again, 2,531 lumens. Double press strobe, that's 830 lumens. So generally speaking, very, very nice. I do like it. You can see here this emblem on the side. Now this is a collaboration. I'll annotate that below. And so again, this is the Through Night TC 15 version 2. Thank you very much to the people at Through Night. Now, next, this is the Wubin G2. You can see here in a couple of different flavors. So, green, blue, and black. Very nice. 
I think all of these colors are really nice. They look really, really good. This is just a neat little keychain flashlight. We're gonna take a look at it here. So getting this out of the box, it actually just has a little sticker here and popping this open. Here you can see this neat little form factor. Very cool, very sleek, really, really nice. Comes with a USB type C charging cable, an accessory pocket clip, and your user's manual. On the top of the light, you can see here exposing your charging port. So again, a USB type C, your power button. On the side, some cutouts where your clip will index. So popping this into place, very simple, positive click. On the bottom here, kind of a unique design. Now you have the ability to get this installed onto a keychain. You can see it's got this little loop. That's cool, but on the bottom, if you look at how that's cut out, you literally swivel that to the side and it pops off. It's actually magnetic and it stays right in place. Very simple. So you just kind of get that in place and then twist it and it locks into place. And then again, twisting that off. That's really cool. And so here, magnetic. That is fantastic. Such a neat and simple little design. I definitely like that. Good, strong magnet, no problem. So that's gonna work very, very well. So now as we get into this single press, won't really do anything you need to long press. That's kind of a safety because it is a keychain light. Moonlight mode here, one lumen, long press, low mode, that's 15 lumens, long press, medium, 65 lumens, long press, high, that's 200 lumens. A double press real quick, that's gonna be your turbo mode, that's 500 lumens. Now for such a small light, definitely a nice output. It's really neat. This is a slightly different form factor from anything else I've had, and I like the fact that with the clip, this is actually kind of pointing out. If you have a backpack, backpack strap, anything like that, that's gonna work out very well. I don't think this is gonna let go. It seems like it's gonna be ample and nice and durable. So generally speaking, a cool little light. So the Wubin G2, very neat. I do like it. And again, thank you very much to the people that Wubin. So next, this is the Workos HD15. This one here in red, this one here in green. Now, they also sent an extension piece. We're gonna take a look at this. So first things first, as we get into this here, Workos is a brand whose products I've looked at in the past, just not on my channel. Very nice, generally extremely, extremely well made. Now this is a combination sort of headlamp and EDC flashlight. So sort of strikes a couple of balances here and you can look and see, looks to have an additional threaded piece here. This has a shape a little bit different than anything else I've seen quite yet. Just a little bit different. Very, very cool. Nicely machined. This is beautiful. Nice anodizing. Feels extremely quality. And a couple of different lenses here on the front. Now you can see it does come with the headband strap. So that's cool. Your USB type C charging cable, a pocket clip and a lanyard. Your instruction manual, pretty straightforward. Taking a look here at the green. Again, the green, just beautiful. Look at that. That's almost like an olive drab. I love it. This green is fantastic. What a beautiful light. I'm already impressed and I haven't even used this. Now, if you notice the two of these slightly different, this one here is the HD 15. This one here, the HD 20. Slightly different in terms of specifications. You can see the body size a little bit different here. Very cool. Now, again, a magnetic tail cap. This is going to be heavy for this sort of curved piece of metal here. So that's not going to work. But on a flat surface, this is going to work wonderfully. So really, really nice and a good, strong magnetic base. And same with the HD 15. Again, nice quality magnetic base there. It feels really good. Popping this open. You can see a Workos battery, the 18650, 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp hour. Threads here feeling very nice. And as you notice, you can unthread the head as well as the tail. Having a little piece of paper on the inside for safety during transit. Gasketed O-rings on all of the threads. Single press here. Nice quality beam. Two lights there turning on. Long press. Dimming down. 
So you're going to get the best of both worlds in this particular mode. You can see the two different heads here. This lens here being crenulated, this one here being smooth. So this is going to diffuse the light and then throw it. So it's going to be a combination between a nice flood, but also a spot. On the HD20, again, going to have to remove that little bit of paper in there. This is the bigger battery. So this is your 21700 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So that's gonna be your big difference here. The fact of the matter is you have two different size lights with the HD 15 being your 18650 and your HD 20 being the 21700. Single press here again, you end up with your dual beams. So that crenulated lens and then your smooth reflector on the inside. Single press, now long pressing between the modes, cycling quickly. Double press going into turbo, even in the off position, a double press going into turbo. A long press, that's going to be your moonlight mode. With the HD15, long press, moonlight, double press, turbo. Very good. You can feel the heat coming off of this. This thing is just pounding output. Now going through the box of the HD20, here you can see the headband. You can see here you end up with your charging cable the pocket clip, and then also a spacer. So this goes inside if you want to use an 18650 battery and the lanyard. Now, as we go to slide this in the headband, this should go in here fairly easily. Just kind of popping this into place. You can see the actual machining does have a space where this fits on here nicely, making sure that that head is good and tight. And now sliding my battery back and into place. The headband here, fairly straightforward. It's going to have plenty of adjustment and now my ability to get on the light. So, so far, very, very nice. Now with both lights on, long press, that's a two lumen output. Long press, 85 lumen output in the low mode. Long press, 260 lumens for medium, 850 lumens for high. Double press, that's 2000 lumens for the turbo mode. You can see double press, goes between specialty modes. So double press, you have all your different specialty modes. So at this point, you have beacon, strobe, all the different things that you would need, SOS and whatnot. You triple press to get between your different light modes. So that's two lights, triple press again. That's your single, which there at that point is only gonna be sort of that flood, triple press. That's gonna be your spot. Very simple. And in each one of these, if you long press, now you're just adjusting that one light, which is cool. Double press, that's your turbo. Long press between your different modes. Single press and it's off. Really cool. So very nice light. I like this a lot. Now for the HD 15 long press, with both lights on, that's two lumens. Long press low mode, that's 20 lumens. Long press medium, 240 lumens. Long press high, 800 lumens. And double press turbo, that's going to be your 2000 lumen output. Triple press, you can see, again, bopping between the beams. Very simple. And then again, a quick double press. And you can see I'm getting between my specialty modes. So again, very simple with this light. Very nice. Single press and it's off. Again, very straightforward, very easy. The HD15, beautiful. And so whether or not you go with the HD15 being that 18650 battery or the HD20 being the 21700, both gonna be really nice. Very similar in terms of the output, but generally speaking, more power with the HD20. You're gonna get a longer runtime, a little more oomph, a little more throw, but generally very, very nice. These are beautiful. I can't say enough how much I like these. Really nicely made. So from the people at Workhouse, beautifully done and thank you very much. So the Streamlight Bear Trap, this is going to be sort of your workhorse work light. Look at this thing. Taking this out here, wow, this is beautiful. Streamlight is a company whose products I have always 
very much enjoyed. A lot of people don't realize they have work lights, but I do use their work lights all the time. I have covered this in the past with so a little cyclone, just an awesome little light. Here you go, next to its big brother, the bear trap. In the box here, you can see this comes with a serious charger. So here it's a bit of a proprietary charger. It's not really a USB rechargeable light. This also comes with a sticker, your warranty card, and your instructions. This is something that I saw at SHOT Show 2022 as I long press here. It's actually just a single press kind of going through the mode. So single press, single press, single press. So operation on this is gonna be pretty straightforward, but you kind of gotta pay attention. First and foremost, when you turn this on, you can see here a single press. So that single momentary press turns the light on. And then if you wait, it'll turn it off. So in other words, once you turn the light on and you want to cycle between the modes, you kind of just got to like get to it and go between the modes. And if you go all the way around, it will turn off. Or if you turn on the light and then you wait a couple seconds and you press the button again, it will turn it off. Now, if you want to get into the second LED, so you can see here, this one here is going to be a spotlight. You're going to single press. I'll put this in the low mode just for the demonstration. So that's the low. I'm gonna long press here and hold it down a couple of seconds. There you go. Switching over, that's more of the flood. And then again, between the different intensities, low, medium, high, off. Low, medium, high, off. That is extremely bright. I'm completely blind. I cannot see. Now I don't necessarily see reported output in the actual instructions. If I find out, it'll be annotated below. But again, operation, very simple going through the modes and as I go back here long press there you go now I'm back into that spotlight and then again single press between the intensities now in terms of the bear trap part of this this should have the ability as I grab this to like pinch on different surfaces so let's just say for example I wanted to illuminate this area I'm just going to turn this on real quick and I can take this get it to the point where it's grabbing I'm actually just going to install it right here so you can see here on the underside of my desk and that's going to grab on just fine and now at this point I can angle the light around however I need it's very simple two seconds long press there you go this is actually pretty neat fairly straightforward so it gives you the ability just to kind of grab onto things so that's a neat little mechanism and that spring is strong this also has a magnet, so if you need to, you can magnetize this to something, and you can see here, crazy strong. That is super powerful. So that's gonna work out very well. And then in terms of using this as a stand, well, which in reality, you actually don't even really need to. I think you probably just sorta stand this thing up. What if it goes like this? I mean, either way, pretty straightforward. There's not a heck of a lot to it. And that stands up like this, very easy. So really cool. This is just a neat and sort of innovative product. It's sort of looking at lighting a little bit different and it gives you some flexibility and versatility. So the Streamlight Bear Trap, very neat. Again, a quality work light. I am so blind right now. All these lights, I am like, <laughs> seriously can't see uh but yeah to the people at streamlight very cool i cannot wait to put this into good practical use and now last but not least the cyan sky hs6r headlamp so at this point you've seen a number of different lights from a tactical flashlight to a combination edc headlamp you had your work light you had an actual keychain flashlight and well here a dedicated headlamp so here the cyan sky hs6r already i am just impressed at how this feels wow this just feels so nice nice aluminum machine just beautifully feels really good to the touch let me pull this little tag off. Your USB Type-C charging cable, little 3M pad. 
spare o-ring and your user's manual again i have used cyan sky products in the past they've been very nice let's take a look at the battery real quick i am impressed at cyan sky i have to say so far very very nicely done with the lights i've looked at very impressive here you can see a 2600 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion battery 3.6 volts pretty straightforward this goes in here. This is a rechargeable headlamp. Again, USB type C. As we get that installed there, you can see the light coming on. I'm gonna long press here, kind of get a feel for this thing. So single press, oh, crazy. So you have this top button. So you can see here on top, this goes between these different modes. So here, your crenulated bezel, that's gonna be nice for your floodlight. Another press going higher, another press higher and then your red mode, and then it's flashing. On the side here, long press, that's turning on your spotlight, single press, that's kind of both. So spotlight between your different modes, and then both. Long press, that turns that off. Long press on, long press off. So that's just kind of activating the spot mode. I think that's pretty neat. So with that on now, Okay, so you end up with a little bit of a spotlight and the flood or spotlight in red. This is different. This is cool. So I can tell you already what would be very useful is in some areas, that little bit of a red light, but then bumping this all the way down, just giving you a nice little combination between the red and that little bit of a spotlight that's going to be very useful without killing your vision. Long press turning off your spotlight. If you double press real quick, doesn't look like you get any sort of turbo mode. So let's take a look at the output based on the user's manual. So the spotlight is considered the main light. As I turn the light on here, long press, this is going to be the low mode. Low being 30 lumens, medium being 150 lumens, high being 500 lumens, turbo being 1200 lumens. That's all done with a single press, long press, and it's off. Your auxiliary lights, long press on top. Here you can see that's gonna start with your floodlight. Low being 30 lumens, single press, medium being 150, single press, high being 500. Another single press, that's gonna be your red light at 10 lumens. Another press, that's your red light flickering at 10 lumens. Again, a long press and it's off. You can add between the two modes, which is really cool. I love that. And you have these separate switches which operate very easily. The overall construction feeling very good and this is definitely nicely adjustable. And so now as I get this onto my head, I can definitely feel the buttons here on top, long press. That's gonna work out just fine. Single press between the modes. This is a little bit flush. It might be a little bit better if it was like slightly raised, but at the same time, it might potentially press and turn on in a pack or something like that, but very simple. Beautiful looking beam. I like the quality and I like how it spreads. Long press on the side. Here's your spot. Definitely a spotlight and very effective. If I put the spotlight on, then I long press on top. I'm gonna to get the benefit of both worlds. Now, of course, these lights are a slightly different color. As I look at it here, just a slightly different color. Not a big deal, but equally good. So very neat. I do like this setup quite a bit. It's useful and it's intuitive. So Cyan Sky, really, really nice. And so again, that was five flashlights fast. First impressions, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do full field reviews of all of these. I might, it just depends. So again, the Cyan Sky HS6R, thank you very much to the people at Cyan Sky. The Thrunite TC15 version two, thank you very much, Thrunite. The Wubin HD15 and HD20. Wubin, thank you for the support. The Streamlight Bear Trap. This is gonna get a ton of use and I am now completely blind. So thank you very much, Streamlight. And this really cool little keychain flashlight, the Wubin G2. Gonna pop this on my keychain right when I go upstairs. So again, Wubin, thank you very much.
And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly, so if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.